Have you ever observed your little one making a lot of grammatical mistakes when they are trying to speak in English language with you? Especially when English is your second language. This holds true actually for any language that is a second language. In this video I am taking English as a reference because that holds true in my case. The sentences like mama, I not like this, dada, I not wish to eat this are very common from their side. And as parents our immediate reaction is to correct them. And do not worry, our intention is absolutely correct because we want them to learn the English language in the right way and we want them to present them in front of others in a right manner. And that is absolutely a good intention. But now let's consider a similar situation for us. Maybe in our offices, we have a boss who wants to give us a new project or a new task which is completely naive, which is completely new for us. We are completely naive for all the tasks. We are taking small little steps towards it and the only thing that we get in return from our bosses is are the alternatives that we can do. Mm, you know, you can do this the other way. You know, this is something wrong. You should, I should basically correct you. So whatever effort you're taking in return, you're only and only getting few alternatives that should be taken. Will that really motivate you? Will that really keep you motivated to complete the task? Think about it. We will be definitely very demotivated if we receive only and only corrections and alternatives from our bosses for our task. Everyone needs those kind words of appreciation to keep ourselves motivated. The same thing applies for our children as well. If we keep on correcting them at every English language, every English sentence that they speak, they will feel that it is not a cup of their tea. They might feel very demotivated. And the more effort you take for them to speak in English, the more they will resist. So how can this be done? Should we just let it be and should we just let them learn wrong English? No. The first thing that we can do is, rather than focusing on what mistakes they are making, why can't we shift our attention towards how much effort they have taken to complete the sentence? Give them appreciation about it. Secondly, 90% of the times you just have to reply them back in proper English language without any mistakes, without any errors. They will just learn it. This is how they learn their first language. So why cannot they learn the second language? The remaining 10% of the times you can actually go ahead and correct it. So it is important that we should basically balance out between when to correct them and when to just reply them in the correct way. Think about it and reply. Sorry, think about it and follow for more. <laughs>